De Quervain's tenosynovitis is a painful wrist condition affecting the thumb side of the wrist. It's usually caused from repeated movements of the wrist in a thumb direction. Now that may be from picking up small children, it could be from regular gardening, typing, excessive thumb movement uh, using a mobile phone device or even gaming consoles. Now in terms of the anatomy in that region, there's two muscles in particular that have two tendons that come down into the thumb. Now they have a common sleeve or sheath that those tendons rub through. Now with excessive movement it may cause friction and it's that rubbing and friction that causes this inflammation and pain. So if you think you might have Dequervain's tenosynovitis, first thing to do is palpate around the base of the thumb here. If you have tenderness in this location, then that might be one sign. The other thing to do is put the thumb inside the hand and tip it down in this direction. Now if that feels different to the other side, then there's a chance that you may have this condition. What we would do is uh, do an ultrasound examination as well. So we would have a look at those tendons and the tendon sheath. And we'd be able to see inflammation and swelling in that location if you have de Quervain's. Now the treatment of choice for this would be rest from those aggravating activities first and foremost. Um, we might use local anti-inflammatory treatment of icing it, perhaps some oral or topical anti-inflammatory treatment. And we can use a thumb spiker brace, so a brace which stabilizes and supports the thumb and doesn't let the thumb move to rest those tendons. Now in some cases this condition can be persistent and doesn't settle with those treatments and in those situations a good treatment choice may be a steroid injection. So a steroid injection can be curative which is the great thing in this particular condition because what it does is reduces the inflammation in that tendon sheath. So we use ultrasound guidance to inject it in exactly the right location and if we can take down the inflammation in that tendon sheath then hopefully within a couple of weeks it's completely back to normal. Now, it's important that we still address the underlying cause as well, so it's important we take out those factors that have caused it in the first place, otherwise it may come back as that steroid injection wears off. So in summary, if you've got tenderness in this location, if you have a positive test where you're tipping your thumb down, and there's something that you're doing repeatedly with your hands or your thumb that's causing the problem, then best get it assessed, and one of the treatment options that we can provide may be a steroid injection, which could be a great treatment if it's right for you. Thank you.